everybody back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode, swap meet, <laughs> Freaky Friday, Sam's body got switched with this little kid messing him with the dark arts. Um, that's about it. <laughs> we did find out that Dean has a bounty on him. So that's not great. I'm going to be extra worried about him and the situations because the demons are after him. So going forward, this next episode is called The Song Remains the Same. That makes me think of like Destiny Talk. So maybe this episode is more plotty. It's been a few episodes since, you know, all the tragedy and we've had some breather. So I'm ready to get back in the shit, I think. Uh, let's see how this goes. Here we go. I love the devil. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Cass, right. Now there's a friend you can count on. What? Yeah, he didn't help you. He didn't tell you. Oh, I'm so glad Anna's back. I was thinking they were gonna drop her. Hello, Anna. Why are you intercepting? I wouldn't let them come. What? And why is that? If you're out of prison, it's because they let you out. Oh. She's so here to do their dirty work. No way. She would what never. I'm so sure. Sam Winchester has to die. Oh. Anna, no! We'll say we'll just bring him back to life. Not after I scatter his cells across the universe. They'll never find him. Not all of him. Sam is my friend. Oh, oh! Yes! You've changed. Anna, we've been through much together. But you come near Sam Winchester and I'll kill you. Castiel! Oh, what a complicated situation. <gasps> what just happened? Are they in the 70s? This is the 70s. Grease! Grease came out in the seventies, right? So she's got all Glenn Close, huh? That's awesome. That's not exactly what's happening. And he's no. not gonna get that reference. Does he have a point? He wants to self sacrifice. No. She's uh Glenn Close. Uh <laughs> I don't get it. We're looking for the chick that wants to gank Sam. Y'all can convince her. So kill her first. No, uh, no, so, I don't want this. Um why 1978? I wasn't even born yet. You won't be. She kills your parents. You're oh! What? We're killing baby Hitler right now? And I can't get to Sorry, Sam, but that's the so theory. She's going after them. So when you look at the Lorian without enough plutonium, uh -huh. I don't understand that reference. <laughs> but I'm telling you. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. He's learned. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna see their parents! This is exciting! Much better than I expected. Oh, are you? He's gotta get y'all back too. <laughs> Amazing, the seventy is Green, the mustache. Amazing. Is <laughs> so I paid for cash for five nights up in the uh, honeymoon suite. They'll wake up. He's, you know, tough for a little nerdy dude with wings. Oh, little nerdy dude with wings. Well, maybe they can get the actor who plays young John back because they sure can't get Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh my God. Sweetie, they're just Mary's cousins. This is so weird. Oh, it's Sam's Sam. face! Sam, uh, Mary's father was a Sam. Oh, it's a, it's a family name. Please. So Sam's not for born yet, but is little Dean there? Oh, uh, even just part time, I really need this job. Maybe we can figure something out. You serious? <gasps> I'll see you in ten minutes. And uh. Be waiting. Anna, don't do it. Oh, Anna. I wish I could say it's good to see you, Anna. Y'all can watch us out and talk about it. You're on the same team in the biggest sense of the word as Mary. Nice going. Monsters? Yes. I can't Monsters believe they're involved with him finding out. Wild. John, just try exactly to understand. Shut up, all of you. 
Look, not another word or so help me. I will turn this car around. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd see this? <laughs> yeah. I'm Can't y'all just we put this up. say what exactly going on? Is that like she breaking some us. time law? We can be right off the starship. So, how big? John got game pretty quick. You really remind me of my dad. I feel like they might just put this together. <laughs> So Dean hasn't been born yet either, yet they named their kids Dean and Sam. They, they have to figure it out. Yeah, what kind of irresponsible bastard lets a child anywhere near, you know, you could have been killed. <laughs> when did he lose Close. this? When Mary died? The number it must have done on your head. He was trying. Oh. Sam having to defend him. trying. Oh. My dad died before I got to tell him. I understand. Oh. I love him. Oh. You're telling him now. He knows. He'll know. I can't believe. I the chance to kill them first. Young Uriel. Thank you. I'm walking out the door. I'm your son. Oh, you told her. What? Yes. How could I do that to you? You didn't do it. You're dead. That's this is a lot of information for her to hear. Holy shit! What? Poor Mary. <laughs> she can leave, Dad. That's what. You gotta leave, John. Y'all won't be born. It's all over. That. He's right. Uh, both of you. We're okay with it. I promise you that. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm this not is, either. You have that normal life that you want so bad. There are so many more lives at stake you here. You don't understand. I can't. Oh my god. An impossible situation. It's too late. You're pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh, little Dean is in there! Hey, we got a problem. This is so good. <laughs> here comes the smiting. Excuse you? You're just going for the present, Sam? Oh, she really got him good. Sam, what the fuck? Sam. What the fuck? Michael. <gasps> Michael used John's body? John's a vessel? I thought it was the other side. Michael's in John? Oh, Anna, damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna have a lot to say about this. But what the fuck, Michael, in John's body? Why would he be mad at Anna? Wouldn't he want to Sam dead too? John is fine. Who? What are you? <laughs> this episode's too much. <gasps> Why'd you do that? It's in your blood. Your father's blood, your family's blood. Awesome. But what? I thought it was the mom's side. Some degrees I have in bacon. <laughs> you really don't know the answer to that. But Lucifer defied our father and he betrayed me, but still, I don't want this any more than you would want to kill Sam. Sam is not Lucifer. You know, my brother practically raised him. I took care of him in a way most people could never understand, and I still love him. Why did he turn out the way he did? But I am going to kill him because it is right, and I have to. Well, because God says so. Yes. From the beginning, he knew this was how it was going to end. If he knew, then what's the point? And you're just going to do whatever God says? Yes, because I am a good son. What makes you think you get to choose? Because I got to believe. I can choose what I do with my unimportant little life. Yes. Yes. Think of the million random choices that you make and yet how each and every one of them brings you closer to your destiny. It's a plan that is playing itself out. That's lame. 
In fact, I'm going to do your mom and your dad a favor. What? Scrub their minds. They won't remember me or you. Michael, fuck off. I mean, th did that save Sam? I mean, I appreciate yes, that. But that's it. You son of a bitch, I, I did. Oh, he didn't have to do it, so that's good. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Why is he so oh, adorable? Well, I could use that drink now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hell of an episode, guys. Team Free Will. One next blood junkie. Hell yeah. One dropout with six bucks to his name and Mr. Comatose over there. It's awesome. Team it's Free fun. Will, let's go! I'm not laughing. They all say we'll say yes. I know, it's getting annoying. <laughs> it is. I've been weak before, Sam. No, you learned. To say yes. You learned. It's different. I think it's sweet. I can't even put my finger on why I like it. Angels are watching over me. Fuck. Okay, so hell of an episode. Amazing, fantastic. It felt like such a continuation of in the beginning. Seeing Mary and John again, so great. They don't remember any of it though. I was so looking forward to know, like, I guess not looking forward, but like, so happy to know that they knew more than I thought they did, but they get, they don't. I'm guessing maybe like subconsciously they do, even though their memory got wiped. It's in there somewhere, maybe. Man, Michael. Well, we met Michael. Not impressed. Not impressed. I mean, saved Sam, which appreciate it. I don't even know why he did that. Like, why would he want to do that? Wouldn't that save him from having to kill Lucifer again? But he's just so in the free wills and illusion camp. And now that we have official team free will, I am right on that train. Choo choo. <laughs> like fully, fully, even if it is an illusion, I'm gonna fight to the death. What is the point of God creating these humans that have their own lives and live? What is the point of them if they just have to do this plan and it's gonna happen exactly the way he sees it well why that's stupid i hate that and that the fact that the angels are so on board with it i hate it even more oh stupid okay i need to talk about this because i'm fucking upset anna was the one female character that we really had left that was a reoccurring character and after we lost ellen and joe i am so fucking mad that we lost Anna and I'm mad how it went down because I understand why Anna would be like yeah man we gotta kill Sam because like that would prevent prevent it from happening but she could have been gotten to if they would have been like look we're on your side we agree this shit's gotta change let's come up with a plan to do that I feel like Anna would have been on board because she's not all about these rules and bullshit. She fell. She stopped being an angel because of their bullshit. And you're telling me she's just like them? Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Her character deserved more than that. I'm so mad about it. I'm so mad. I know this show is fucking biblical as fuck. And the Bible is patriarchal as fuck. So all the main characters are fucking men. But what the fuck? Why? Why would they do this? Uh, I loved Anna. They are, we already had to do this bullshit with Ruby. You know, ended up being a bad guy. Now we got to do Anna ended up being an overall bad guy. Like, that's bullshit. Are we just supposed to like, oh, never trust women. Is that what we're supposed to take away from that? I'm pissed. I'm annoyed. <sighs> Does it make a good episode? Yes. But you could have had anybody be an angel like that go and do this kind of storyline. So an angel going back in time to kill their parents. Why did it have to be Anna? This episode was really good and I don't want y'all to think that I didn't like it because I do. I just have issues 
mostly with the Anna thing. I think it could have been handled differently. I think they don't care about their female characters enough, frankly. Um, and they, I wonder if they were called out about it at the time, but they should have been because that's bullshit. <sighs> Why? Why? Um, let's talk about Castiel. He was so great this episode, just, you know, coming through when they needed him to. You know, he was being, like, protective of them, like, going seeing Anna, because he was questioning her in a way that I really, I didn't. I didn't think they were, I didn't think that was going to, I under, I get it. I understand why she was feeling the way she did, and stepping back of knowing Dean and Sam, as an outsider, it's like the trolley problem. Do you kill one person to save the many, or is one death the same as many deaths. Like, that moral quandary has always been there. And there are, there is a side of it that's like, that is absolutely worth it to kill one person, saving all those people. So I understand why Anna would be that way. What I don't understand is them not seeing that the type of character Anna was, is she's obviously really smart and like, thought about things and was over the angel shit and I feel like you could have reasoned with her. She seemed like a very reasonable person. So just I, I'm just so mad about it. Like we just lost Ellen and Joe. I mean her death like that was wild. That was some introduction to Michael. I'll tell you that but I'm just upset. Now like what what female character do we have that's recurring? I can't think of one. So yeah, like I do understand the trolley problem, but I also understand that what makes us human is like the love that we have with our personal stories. And I'm always gonna root for Sam and Dean to make it out. I'm not gonna want Sam to kill himself, even though that would save the, s fix the problem and save potentially millions of lives. I'm still gonna root for Sam to still live. It's because I care about him on a personal level. And, like, I'm always going to understand and root for that. Even though, morally, it's... You can't always justify it. But that's what makes us human. And maybe... I still don't know how they feel about God on this show. Like, right now, I think he's dumb. Like, it, you, why why create humans? if if Unless... He created this destiny to see if humans were capable of breaking out of it. Now, if that's the thing that I'm like, okay, God, I, I see you. I hear you. Like, that's cool. But I don't know if that's what God's <laughs> ultimate plan is. But we'll see. I'm really intrigued to know more about God. Shockingly, I need to know more about God. <laughs> but... God, I, I do feel that this episode would have had more weight if Michael hadn't taken their memories away. Like, it would make sense that everything happened the way it did, even them knowing what they knew. Because Mary's still under this 10-year deal. And she's gonna, that was a sacrifice she was gonna make. That was a good scene of them being like, just don't have us. But she saw them in the flesh. Like, I could see her totally being like, I'm still gonna have you. Like, <laughs> like, I love you too much. All, like, even not knowing them, but just seeing you, like, they were offering it. They were off, like, they like, we're fine not being born. Like, so I, I, Totally told my mom that before. I'm like, dude, why did you have me? This all is bullshit. <laughs> but, but there's still potential for happiness in their lives. Like, their life is worth living. And I feel like we could have gotten to the same point even if they kept knowing the information that they all found out here. So I, I'm kind of upset that they got their memories wiped. But it, it uncomplicates things having them have their memories wiped so there's less things to have to like explain so I get why they did it but man I would have I really because 
like I said in, in the beginning, it seems like what happened happened. It always happened. And I don't think that's a destiny thing. I think you just can't, you can't change the past. Dean and Sam always went back in the past. I'm totally fine with that concept of you cannot change the past. It's Dean and Sam's present that went back. But they always did that. That always happened. So that's cool. And I, oh God, I just really wish, I really wish his parents would have known. Because it's not only the Mary part of it, but the John part of it, Sam really got to tell him how he felt and got to say the things that he wanted to say that he didn't get the chance to say. And John doesn't remember that now. Damn it. I thought it was so cool to see Uriel again, younger Uriel, because yeah, he'd be around back then and like the, the vessel would be younger. So that was really cool. Oh, the vessel situation. I was fully on the side of, oh yeah, her fam Mary's family's hunters. Like it's clearly their side of the family that are the vessels. John was just this outsider, didn't know anything about demons or anything, but like he is also, is that, is that why uh, Michael was doing his spiel about out of all the chances that those two people can meet, does that mean that both sides of them are vessels and that's why Sam and Dean are ultimately Lucifer and Michael because you have to have mother and father be vessels to create like super vessels. Is that what it is? That's kind of cool. I like that. So now besides Cassiel, we only have Cassiel. Like I would always say, oh, well, we have Cassiel and Anna because I always counted on Anna being ultimately on our side and we'd have her in our corner, even though I was surprised to see her because I was like, well, they're probably going to drop her. I'm like, oh no, they just brought her back to kill her. Like they do all other ones. Ugh! I'm still mad about it. I'm going to be mad about it. And I'm sorry if that like makes people upset that I'm criticizing the show in that way, but like it's a problem. And look, you you guys all know my favorite show of all time is Buffy, but let me tell you that show has problems. The creator of the show has problems. The writers have problems. Like you need to call out like what is it? Kill the author. You sometimes got to kill the author, and this and the show has to stand up. To its own, on its own and for me it's valid criticism that they've done this to all their female characters so take that for what it is and I'm sorry if that makes you feel like I'm criticizing your show, favorite show of all time but if it's your favorite show of all time you need to be able to examine it and understand its faults and it's like, I feel like I've been watching the show and you guys have been watching the show with me and you know how much I love the show. So I feel like I get the need to be like protective of it because, you know, I watch reactions. That's how I like got into doing reactions because I was like, oh my God, this is such a great thing to see somebody watch a show that you love so much. And I'm definitely protected, like, <laughs> shocker, I watch Buffy reactions and I I understand the the like protectiveness of of it when I'm like you don't know the show like this is our show this is our baby and you're this new person coming in and critiquing it but I think I've earned my stripes a little bit I think it's pretty obvious how much I love this show and me critiquing it is not me saying it's bad it's just me wanting it to be better and I think the show would be better if they cared more about their female characters and like let them live in a way that they let their boys live. So sorry if that's upsetting for you guys, but it's what it is. <laughs> I do like, I really love this episode. You guys know I love the flashbacks. I love any time they do that. Mary, is, I weep for Mary. God, what a tough life. And poor John. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited for Team Free Will. It seems like that's the plan of Sam, Dean, and Cassiel. So exciting going forward. And I can't wait to see the next one. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.